Hi, this is Kendra at Pets on Pigment. And today I just kind of wanted to do a paint with me and a story time. So I wanted to do one about scary movies because I have been doing a ton of fan art for Drawloween. Like here's Mothra. There's one movie in particular. It's called Empire of the Ants. And this was a movie made in 1977. I had never heard of it before. I came across um, this picture somebody took on set and it showed up on Twitter and I just loved it and saved it. And then Insectoid came up as one of the prompts and I had to do it. Like I didn't have a choice. It was speaking to me. Um, today the prompt is Crypt and I am drawing a Mexican hairless dog while I'm painting. And this dog, if I can pronounce this and I apologize, it's called a Choloitz Quintla, Cho, or Cholo for short. And this dog was put in the crypts to help find the soul in the Mayan tombs. This is such a beautiful dog. But <laughs> I just kind of wanted to talk about some about fun, spooky Halloween stories. So I found Army of the Ants online. I sure did. And I decided I was going to watch it before I did the prompt and paint it. And it is, it is a scary movie. There is blood, there is gore. So if you're not interested in movies like that, then, then this isn't for you. And I apologize for any spoilers I give. It's an older movie. And though I'd like to assume a lot of people, I've never seen it. I'm 41 and I, I just never heard of it. Um, parts of it I found so endearing and I'm going to explain why. So they did two interesting things in this movie. One, they created these huge like ant suits that, you know, attacked the people and did all the things that were very scary film oriented. And then they did a second thing where they made miniatures, it looks like, of some of the surrounding area and then filmed the ants realistically up close, like macro. And so the ants got to walk around these little miniature sets so it looked like they were, you know, taking over all these areas on this island. And I was like, from an entomology, like insect standpoint, I just thought it was the coolest thing. <laughs> and I, I know it's supposed to be scary. Um, I, I've seen some like very scary movies in the movie theater, so, I have one sibling, I have an older brother, and he's very much into scary films. And so when Saw came out, that was something he had to go see and he wanted a bunch of people to go with him and he thought it'd be super, super fun. So we all went, my husband and I, and him and his best friend. <laughs> the jump scares in that movie. Like I'm a delicate flower and I just, oh my goodness. So I've seen two Saw movies in the theater. And uh, after a while, I just told him, I was like, hey, I, can't, I, I, get the, I get the premise. I understand what they're doing in the films. I don't think I need to see anymore. Like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. But he's like, oh, okay. So my, my husband was super kind and went to all the other Saw movies with him for Halloween and stuff throughout the years. But I want to tell you a funny story. So when I was like 20, mm, 21 maybe, it was a couple decades ago, I was living alone. And I came home to, we'll say see my parents, but it was probably more like to steal their food and do my laundry. And my dad and my brother were heading out the door and I'm like, what are you guys doing? And he's like, oh, we're gonna go to the show. We're gonna watch something. And I was like, oh my God, I wanna do something. So he's like, all right. I'm like, what movie is it? And he's like, oh, it's called Event Horizon. I'm like, oh, what's that? And he's like, oh, it's a sci-fi comedy. And I'm like, oh, okay, like, I like science fiction. I like fantasy, I like, I like things in space. So if you um, wanna pause the video now and watch the trailer, if you're okay with scary things, if you've never heard of this movie before, oh my goodness, <laughs> not a comedy. And what happened was um, my dad had received some sort of early viewing ticket and at the theater, they had oversold the theater. And so I, we got there and the lights were out 
and there were only like single one-off seats and he's like just sit there I'll find you later and I ended up sitting between two gentlemen easily twice my age that I did not know and my dad was in one row and my brother was in another row I didn't find that out till later I couldn't even see them it was so dark and the movie starts up and I apologize for any spoilers and I'm like oh it's in space and when I watch a movie I'm I'm looking at sort of the cinematography of the mood they're showing with the camera filters and the different angles and from everything from the color of the clothing people wear you, sometimes you can tell who the good guy is and who the bad guy is and all these things and I'm just watching it and I'm waiting and the music's so dark and I'm like ominous tones like what's why is the music so scary I'm like I've never seen a comedy like this before mm, no I mean <laughs> 10, 15 minutes in, I don't know. I don't remember. I've only seen it the one time. Oh, good grief. And these people, like there's a ghost and it's 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 making them do things to themselves. You no, know, self-care. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I just remember like this horrible scene in the movie where this guy's like just doing something horrible to his own body. And both guys look over at me in unison, like, is she, is she okay to, like, to see this? And the whole time I'm like, well, wh where's the comedy part? When does, when does the funny sports happen? I don't understand what's going on. So the entire film, I'm trying to figure out, because, yep, I'm that gullible. I'm trying to figure out, like, wh when the comedy comes in, like, where's the joke? And, um, it never happens. <laughs> so at the end of the film, I'm like, what? what is going on and I'm just sitting there sort of in the seat stunned and my dad's at the end of the row and most people have cleared out and I'm, I'm going down and you know I meet him and my brother is there and we're walking through the theater and really really loud I'm like that wasn't a comedy and my dad's like of course not and I'm like you told me it was a comedy and he's like you didn't see the trailer? <laughs> I don't have TV. He didn't realize I didn't have a TV and I hadn't <laughs> seen any trailers or anything. So he thought I was just like teasing him, like being sarcastic, like, whoa, what's that about? Obviously it's something in space. He loves science fiction. Um, <laughs> I'm tell you the people who were walking through that were like, oh my God, she thought that whole movie was a comedy. And they turned around and some of them, had sort of a look of terror on their face and some of them had the look of laughter and I'm just sitting there like what is my life what is going on right now and my dad's like ah it'll be fine and I'm like you're right it's fine like I understand fake blood and I understand acting and I understand all these concepts but oh my god <laughs> when you're expecting a certain thing and you like don't get that thing and I hadn't been to the movies in a while like I was in the throes of doing college and all that stuff and Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not the first time that's happened to me. I went on a date once with this guy and he's like, come on, get in the car. I'm like, oh, what are we going to go see? Again, I didn't have a TV and we don't have a TV now. Like, I just don't care about some of that stuff. And he's like, oh, it's a scary movie. Are you okay with that? And I'm like, yeah, 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 it's fine. Like, I get the guys really, really like that. And you, you can't force every guy to watch romantic comedies and stuff all the time. It's, that's not fair either. And so we're in the theater and, you know, the ring and it's the chick, come, and I apologize for spoilers, it's the chick coming out of a well and she's having a bad hair day and they're playing scary mu music with it and they're really trying to build up the suspense and he starts laughing. And I don't know this guy very well, like we had just started dated, dating and stuff. He gets to laughing so hard because he thinks it's so dumb. And I'm like terrified because I'm sensitive. Like I'm a delicate flower and I'm trying to go along with this. I'm trying to seem really cool. I'm not cool. <laughs> and I'm just like, why is he laughing? And people start to look at him because he's so loud. And I'm like, mm, I don't think it's going to work out between us. But thank you. This was, this was an interesting learning experience dating. So I've seen some like crazy movies. Um, I went to The Grudge one time. And it was like a Friday night thing and it was packed and people were mocking and making fun of the movie. And I had never been in a movie theater where people were doing that before. And it instantly was no longer a scary movie with that many people mocking it. And that was kind of bizarre. But yeah, 
scary movies for Halloween. I remember seeing Hocus Pocus in the movie theater and I was, I was a teenager. I was babysitting my neighbor and she wanted to thank me. She paid me just, she was so generous. And then she was like, I want to take you to the show too. And I was like, oh, okay. And we went and saw Hocus Pocus and I'm like, oh, Bette Midler. I love her. Um, yeah, I'm more, if I'm going to watch like a really, really scary film, I like humor in it. So things like Zombieland or um, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz. I, I need a little bit of like comedy to break it up to get me through it. <laughs> or um, something like Cooties. Those are all zombie movies, but yeah, I just, oh, I'm so sensitive. <laughs> I'm a delicate flower. But I, I mean, I've seen uh, Stranger Things. I enjoy that show and um, American Horror Stories. I've seen both of those. Those are both equally scary. Some of the episodes, not all of them. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoy watching all these things. We watch everything on the computer. We just, we're not big, like TV fill in the room type of people. But uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm definitely one to pull something over on for Halloween because I'm just like, oh really? Oh, okay. I assume you're sincere. <laughs> oh, but I have been doing so much fan art for this drawing challenge. I've never done this much fan art before. So like I did Empire of the Ants and here's my Frankenstein. Um, in like a week, I'll have another sketchbook tour because I've been doing things. So I've been hustling. So you'll see. And then I'll talk about all these different indigos tomorrow. And then I really want to do a video reviewing this product too as well. So I will talk to you all tomorrow and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.